Hey everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion, and this is our second installment on ASUS AI Suite 3 with Dual Intelligent Processor 5. What we're going to do is show you actually how ASUS auto tunes your system five ways to maximize the performance and the efficiency of your system. So let's go ahead and get started. Continuing on with our tutorial on the ASUS AI Suite 3 for the Z97 motherboards with Dual Intelligent Processor 5, let's go ahead to the five-way optimization. We're going to go ahead and auto-tune this system so we can see what it can do. Now, this is going to reboot multiple times, so I will be stopping this video while it reboots, so you guys don't have to wait the whole time that we're going through this. So I'm going to go up to the top left-hand corner here, click on five-way optimization. I am going to go down to my advanced settings and just take a look. Under the TPU, I'm going to keep it at extreme tuning. Then I'm going to go and look at what I want to do. Now ratio only is just going to set your, your CPU ratio and it's not really going to play with your base clock. So if you go ahead and change that to base clock, you're going to go ahead and get a base clock overclock. Now I do like to, to tune all four cores, so I'm going to change that to all cores. If you change it to per core, what is going to happen is you will get different core settings based on your system. So if you set your C if your your max is going to be 447 or 4 4.7 on maybe two cores, you might get 46 on two other cores depending on how strong they are. So what I usually do is set it to all cores. We'll go down, target CPU frequency tuning, I keep off. CPU temperature tuning, I keep off. Memory second memory test, you can go ahead and check that and then you could raise that now before you didn't have the option now you could do it under EPU I'm going to set the EPU to optimized and away mode fan is going to be optimized I'm not going to benchmark that right now and then of course by default we're going to enable the digi digi plus power control and set that to optimized so before I click start, I'm going to go ahead and start this because as soon as I click start, it's going to stop this uh, recording. It's, as soon as I click start, it's going to actually reboot the system. Now that it's boot up, it takes about a minute for it to cycle through whatever it needs to cycle through, and then it'll start stress testing it as it, uh, as it raises the the multiplier on the processor automatically right out of the gate we're at 4.3 so it automatically tuned it to 4.3 with just the restart and while we're waiting I just want to tell you that everything that I started with was default in the BIOS as if you put the board on your in your system booted it up installed AI suite and just went straight through this so no XMP settings were on nothing at all so we're down to about six or five seconds here and what will happen is it'll stress test it at four four point three gigahertz and actually uh, Pat must have passed it while we were waiting so now it'll go to four point four and what it'll do is it'll just keep on raising as we go so once you hit that threshold the system will reboot and it'll go back to what it need what what settings it was actually able to get with the overclock. Now we are stressing all four cores. I want all four cores to be the same. So what we'll do is I know that this is probably going to crash around 4.6 or 4.7 so I'm going to start this stop this recording so I could save it and we will go ahead and re, re uh, get back to this as soon as we're done. All right, now that it rebooted, of course, as I said, it's going to progress and it's going to go to Fan Expert 3 and it's going to auto tune your fan speeds for you. So technically everything is on auto. It's just going to do it by itself. It will go through this sequence. It will set everything up. 
and it will optimize your system based on what type of airflow you need. Didn't take that long, we're already at 100%, so now we should be going, going to the EPU setting in a second. Okay, so now we're at EPU, and as you can see, get total system-wide energy optimization with EPU. You know, if you really want to uh, control your system and make sure that when you're away that it actually does sit, sit back and sip some juice for you, that would be great. Now it's uh, at the final stage doing the Digi Plus power, power. And as you can see, our stable overclock with setting all four cores to be at the same uh, multiplier we are at 4.5 gigahertz so we actually got up to 4.5 which is a 21 percent overclock and if we look at our EPU the configured max CPU power is off recommended watts is 62 SATA power off is available and USB power ports add-on power uh, ports power is available and then we look at our RPM function all right so basically, we, I'm not going to benchmark the CPU fan benchmark, but as you can see, maximum speed is 2268, and the fans are running at 2265, as I said earlier. I don't know if I mentioned, but this is an AIO. They are running at 100% at this time. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and now if we take a look at it, we'll go ahead and click on TPU again, and we will look at what we have. So with that auto, with that auto tune, we have all four cores at 4.5. As you can see, it's on an adaptive CPU core voltage, which is, which has an offset of 0 0.025. Our OC voltage or our CPU voltage is actually 1.2, which gives us 1.2 plus the 0.25. So our maximum voltage is going to be 1.225. On the CPU cache voltage, I don't normally play with it, but as you can see, this didn't even touch it, so everything is set to the Z fault defaults. Now, our DRAM voltage. If you remember when I showed you, if you looked at the bottom when I was showing you your CPU frequency when I did the overview, we saw that our DRAM was set to 1333, which was the default JDEC. Since this is 2400 megahertz RAM, it automatically tuned it to 24 and brought the voltage up to the recommended voltage is 1.65 for the memory that I am using at this time. As you can see, everything in yellow is what was changed. So it changed the VTTDR voltage, it changed the DRAM voltage, and that was basically it. Nothing else was changed. So that is your tutorial on how to use the auto-tuning for ASUS AI Suite 3. This is Dual Intelligent Processor 5, five-way optimization. As you can see, it was optimized five ways. Thank you for watching this one. And for the next one, we will go ahead and look at Fan Expert 3. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.